Conditions dried out after a soggy stretch that dates back to yesterday afternoon. We're going to hold on to the dry weather and even some sunshine starting tomorrow and lasting into the middle of the week. A little more rainfall is on the way, but the weather does dry out in time for the Halloween weekend. Long term look uh, right now it looks likely that we'll stay dry and a little cool as we get into the holiday weekend itself. So a little easier to plan around for trick or treating as of this year. Now when it comes to the rainfall as of today, nearly five inches of rain so far this month. That's about double what we typically see during a usual October and that's a welcome sight considering how dry it's been throughout the spring, summer and even into last month. As a result of this uh, doubling of October rainfall, we're almost back to average for the fall season. Now keep in mind a lot of that had to do with this month as September was uh, near the driest on record with only about a half an inch of precipitation. So we kind of needed this month to get right back to average at least still looking well below average on the year, which means the drought conditions continue. Now the weather system that brought us all the rain and wind as of yesterday and today making its way to the east coast and it's going to end up getting absorbed by this powerful low pressure here, resulting in a pretty powerful nor'easter that's going to hit the east coast uh, during the middle of this week. Flooding rainfall and strong wind gusts potentially over 60 miles per hour, likely up and down the eastern seaboard as a result of that nor'easter. So our weather system contributing to that high pressure right now, keeping everything quiet. We'll hold on to this weather through the middle of the week, and then you can see all this rain near the Rockies that heads our way as we go into Thursday. So leading up to that point, looking dry, but a little on the brisk end down to 37 for tonight under a partly cloudy sky. Could see some patchy frost in some spots, but most locations end up staying just above freezing. That does mean a pretty chilly start to tomorrow. However, upper 30s right around sunrise. We will see lots of sunshine, which helps us warm right back up to about 50 heading into noon. Uh, but as you can see, cool weather expected throughout a lot of tomorrow morning. We get into the afternoon, near average for this time of year, upper 50s under a mostly sunny sky. So a typical late October day and the winds are a lot lighter. So things are going to be a little more pleasant going into tomorrow afternoon. But moving forward from there, very very typical October weather throughout the remainder of the month. As you can see, temperatures hovering into the middle to upper 50s during the day. The one exception is Thursday that does have some rain showers as well as some slightly cooler temperatures, but we're not necessarily getting down to very brisk conditions going into the middle of the week. Here's future track and that has the rain starting up before sunrise Thursday. As you can see, a little on and off, not necessarily looking at steady soggy weather throughout a lot of the morning. We get to the afternoon though, that's when the showers become steady and throughout a lot of Thursday afternoon we see steady rainfall. Uh, the rain showers may keep going into early Friday, so kind of a soggy stretch going towards the end of the week. Uh, good news is though, not as much rainfall as earlier on this week. We may only see about a third of what we picked up, uh, so that could mean a third to a half an inch of rainfall going into the end of the work week. Looking towards the weekend, temperatures back in the upper 50s during the day, near freezing at night, especially Halloween night. Uh, but overall, the weather stays dry and quiet, so that helps the trick-or-treaters. In your most accurate 10-day forecasts going into November, things do get brisk. We're back into the 40s for highs starting next week, so really getting chilly as we kick off November. And it was good while it lasted, but today's forecast is a bit of a tricky one. The amount of cold air with this weather system just didn't pan out. We cleared out in the afternoon, so as a result, we missed on the four degree guarantee for the first time in nearly 30 forecasts. That means Christina B of Rockford wins $377, quite the jackpot to go home uh, with. We'll see if we can start a new streak tomorrow with a high of 58 in the forecast, Brittany. All right, we had a great run, but congrats to Christina B. Coming up next.